everyone. So I'm here at Tiger Kingdom. It's one of the things or the places to go to here in Phuket. And unlike other petting zoos where you are only allowed to have photos with the official photographer and you even have to pay all these exorbitant amounts of money just for one photo, here you can have your family take your photo with you, you can even lie down beside the tiger, you can hold it and for as long as of course there are do's and don'ts on how to do it properly uh, and for as long as your family members get to pay the fee, you're good to go. There are actually different types of tigers that you can pet or different sizes. There's the smallest, the small, the medium, the big, and the giant. I chose the small. It's actually the cheapest too. It starts at 900 baht. Okay, so I'm just waiting my, for my turn. You can see like the guy there is posing with a tiger just beside. Actually, a lot of them are sleeping and a lot of the trainers here, they're treating them really well. You know, I don't see anyone doing any acts of cruelty or whatnot and it's nice that the visitors can really touch them and pet them and just really cuddle with them it's, it's, it's so beautiful okay it's my turn it's my turn I'm so excited okay Beautiful, great. So apparently it's not just one tiger, but you get to pet three tigers. It's so exciting. Oh, nervous. What is that? Him. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, let's try Look at me, please. Good one. Two, three. Can you can can you keep your shoulder tiger? Shoulder tiger, really? Yeah. Yes. Come on, what come on. Do? One, two. <laughs> hey, you can. I cannot. Did you see your, your fresh? Yeah, I'm just afraid. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, together? Together. Come on, together. Family. Family, yeah, together. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So Phuket also has their premium outlets, although if you're looking for designer brands, you know, like the Gucci's, the YSL's, the Jimmy Choo's, you're not going to find it here. I mean, you have to think, I guess because we are in a resort, it's a beach, it's more, I guess, down to earth, it's just more red to relax vibe. So you have a lot of sportswear. You have like um, brands like, of course, you have Arena, Speedo, you have Billabong, you have an Adidas, a Nike outlet, um, even for golf. So the brands are not exactly what you're used to like in the States or even in Japan But it definitely goes with the theme of being in the beach So one of the things to consider because well, I personally think that Thailand is like the wholesale shopping capital of the world at least to me It's just so cheap to buy clothes you get high CP cost performance meaning you can get so many items not to say that the quality is amazing but you know it's 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 pretty good it's all right and you get so much for so little money so the regular stores like this like department stores or even the big brands that we know all over the world it's kind of hard to compete with that especially when it comes to fast fashion so something to think about personally I love going shopping in night markets in 
because you'll never know what you're going to find, right? And of course, haggling. That's always the best part. Have you guys ever wonder what it's like to go no, upside down, do handstands the whole time for a whole five minutes and more, and even do some stunts? Well, here in the Upside Down House in Phuket, that's exactly what you can do. Ta -da! <laughs> So there are three floors in this house and it's absolutely so fun. Honestly, it's a little bit confusing as to what pose you're going to do. They say you can lie down, you can sit down, you can put your leg up and it's kind of hard to imagine but the guy actually said that when you record, you take it the traditional way and then you can just flip it with your phone. Correct? I said that, not the guy. Okay. <laughs> she said that, not the guy. Okay, so now we're going inside the labyrinth. The girl said, at least from what we could understand, is that you need to find three maps that are hidden. And you're not allowed to peek through and open the plants to destroy, you know, you don't want to ruin the design, right? So that was the wrong way. Okay, now we have to find the other way. Let's go. Yay! We found the first map. One of three. I have to admit, it wasn't as easy as we thought it was. It requires a bit of effort and good memory. Say hi girls! Hi! <laughs> so is this difficult? It's much more yeah, difficult, it's difficult than we thought. <laughs> yes! It looks so easy, but it's not. We found it! Where are you from? Russia. Russia. Shit, finally. After cheating, I made it. Okay, so we're gonna feed. <laughs> so for 20 baht, it's basically uh, pakwan seeds, watermelon seeds. And then look, it, it's an automatic dispenser of the, the shell. Oh, wow, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty! It's, the, the claws are a little bit sharp, but it's just a good grip. Oh, wow, so this is a cockatoo. No, boo and go. Boo and go. Yes. Boo and go. So earlier, I thought that was a cockatoo. Mistaken. This is a cockatoo, and she is very hungry. And apparently, she can talk too. What did she say? Sawadikra. Exactly. <laughs> nice. And So 
we're here on top of the hill in the big Buddha viewpoint and Buddha is right there at the top and if you come of course to places like this like temples and whatnot and you are wearing like in my case like a tube dress they actually lend you like a scarf or so just to be more modest or they give you a sarong in case you're wearing shorts or a skirt. flavored like popcorn for example because the flavor whether artificial or natural it just totally envelopes what you're actually trying to eat it's really delicious my favorite is the chocolate so good and they sell them packs like this 160 baht that's about 190 pesos 200 pesos awesome so I'm gonna get two packs Lovely. So of course, just like the Philippines, there's always a bunch of dried fruits that you can get here at the store. There's like dried oranges, there's olives, cherries, lemons, plums. Let's try the papaya, since papaya is actually one of my favorite fruits. They have them dried. It's chewy. It's very sour. It's like a papaya rind. It's like a chewy candy. Try this other version of the Very sweet, very concentrated, very meaty. Very bad for you too if you have a lot of it. Okay, so a long time ago, historically, this grand mansion right here used to be the residence of the former governor of Phuket. And later on, it was transformed to be one of the most distinguished multi-awarded restaurants here in Phuket with branches all over the world. And this is where we just had our New Year's lunch. This is the Blue Elephant Royal Thai Cuisine. Thank you. 
So there's jasmine white rice. And this is brown rice. Brown rice. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's not as velvety as I hoped it was. I think the concept of it getting smashed and rolled and twirled is more cool than the actual ice cream itself. Because if you like your, your ice cream really velvety and creamy rolls in your mouth, this is more like flaky and, and chunky. Walking by the beach, it's our last day. I know I'm not in a bikini because <laughs> we're on our way to the airport. It's so funny that we actually came to the beach and we never have actually stepped on, stepped on the beach until now. But truly, there really is, there are so many things to do here in Phuket, even if you're not into the sun or to the sea or the sand. So many beaches, so many activities, so many beautiful people. Great getaway.